Hey guys, I'm Liam, and you're watching Jeep Sheep TV. Happy New Year, and to the like 200 of you guys that watch all of these videos, and even videos like this one, I hope you had a Merry Christmas, and thank you. You guys are my core, and you keep watching, and I love it. And I look forward to your comments on every video, so thanks. Thanks a lot. What happened this year? This was kind of a big year, kind of not, right? Um, no, it was kind of big. First off, last year, I made an announcement that we moved to Wisconsin, and I stood in this very shop. And the walls were not white. But now they are. The ceiling's not white, because I'm not crazy. Also, I just built a loft, and it's almost done. I need to finish the flooring on it. But now we have more storage. Um, this year, we purchased... This, the Basket Case XJ, and since buying it, it's pretty much sat here the whole time. It, like, I released a video on it and then did nothing. But eventually, this will get up and running again, and then we'll decide what to do with it. Also, in the video, it was black. Now it's red. Uh, more on that later, I guess. You'll see a video. There's, there's plenty, plenty more on this guy here. Uh, things to come. The Commando is getting a winch behind the grill. And I'm pretty excited for that one because it takes some extra welding and, and whatnot. Uh, but there's a lot of room. See that? There's a lot of room in there. So why not? Also, that's a uh, open road winch. I don't know anything about it, but they sent it to me for free. Um, I also did whoop, these headlights. If you haven't watched that video on the headlights, go watch the video on the headlights. They're actually really cool headlights. Uh, those were sent to me. For free there's kind of a theme here uh, I did a video on those headlights those were also sent to me for free and I did a video on a plastic stapler which was sent to me for free so I got a lot of stuff sent to me for free but a lot of it's a lot of it's Chinese um, I don't want to I don't like perpetuating the idea that one nationality is better than the other and therefore Chinese stuff is bad because they're Chinese. No, I do like perpetuating the idea that we should support our own local economy. And I myself am being a major hypocrite on that. And I'm just admitting to the, all 200 of you that watch these videos um, that I've, I've been trying to sell these products because they given me for free. But dang it, I needed new headlights in this and I needed new headlights in that so I don't hit a deer. And I mean... Bring to me an American-made headlight company that's compatible with these vehicles, and then we'll talk. Um, goals for 2024. Find more American-made products to show on this channel. Big-time goal. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to keep doing the junk that we're doing because I never had a winch, and I never had headlights, and I don't have all the funding in the world to purchase them. So... Anyway, weird soapbox moment. What else happened this year? Uh, due to my new employment, I got myself a Polaris Razor, which puts me in the dark side. But dang, that thing is fun. I'm learning a lot about the UTV side-by-side -side culture. Why do people purchase them? Why do people like them? Why uh, do we use them? And what are they good for? And all of those are questions that I have to ask uh, at my employment and also just in general things I'm curious about because a lot of land use is divided between these old things and those middle things and, and, and then the recreation vehicles. And it's really important to understand all that. So it's been a really cool year for that. We've been on a lot of trips up north, uh, northern Minnesota. Also this year we went to, I say we, I, it's kind of just me, but <laughs> um, I went to the SEMA show and met up with people from Gone Jeepin', which if somehow you haven't gone and subscribed to Gone Jeepin', you should just do that now. Um, I went there with Gone Jeepin and I went there with Unofficial Use Only, another channel that you need to subscribe to right now, and helped him launch a new brand of products for the modern Jeeps, the JL and JT, um, the Wrangler and Gladiator truck. 
So because they're the new Jeeps and that's where all the money's at, we created some new products for that. And that was really exciting and we had a great show. If you go to unofficialuseonly.com, you can see the products on there. You won't see my name in any of it and that's totally okay um, because it is Greg's brand and we're selling it through him and his wonderful reputation in the industry um, and all of the great work that he has done. He also gave me this commando as a side note. So go subscribe to Greg, go to his website and you can see the products and know that I had a major role in almost all of them, almost. Um, minor role in the rest. I had a role in all of them. So check that out. Let's see, what else did we do this year? We went to Moab Easter Jeep Safari and released a bunch of videos from that. I'll, I'll play a clip, I guess. <laughs> Got to hang out with some absolute off-road legends. Um, the Gone Jeep and crew is full of off-road legends, but they're friends with other off-road legends, and we got to meet them as well, which I just am mm, so thankful that I get to do stuff like that. That's one of the favorite things, one of my favorite things of just doing YouTube and stuff in general. Got to meet Maria from Roaming Reckless, and she's got... A much bigger channel she surpassed 100,000 subscribers this year um, and gone Jeep and surpassed 10,000 this year Woo, 10,000 that's a huge milestone this channel is on track to surpass 10,000 as well because we're holding steady and we're just slowly getting there um, things to expect for 2024 I don't know I I don't make promises anymore on channels because I learned that was a bad idea but I am editing like crazy, so you'll probably see more videos. Um, I would love, absolutely love, to get the videos out on this Commando because when I got it, it was not running and missing. It wasn't really missing a lot of parts, but it was missing a lot of functioning parts. And we've replaced a lot of those and filmed the entire process and never shared it. So maybe that's a 2024 thing. Obviously more on this XJ. I kind of want to get it out of here. Um... I know some people want me to pull the engine out of it. Really, it just needs to go, but we'll see. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, oh, I did get a treat for you guys in the daylight. I walked around the property so you can kind of see what we've got going on here. So I'll show you that now. Take you for a quick buzz around the property. There's that barn. There's the doggy. Can't go on a walk without the doggy. It's no good. There's more of the barn. I got a silo. Got this cool gate thing for for cattle. Just putting their head in it. Keep them still for something. I don't know. I don't have cattle. There's the barn again. Got a huge pile of wood. Check that thing out. Oof. That's a lot of wood. There's a shop. Propane. Sorry, I'm walking heavy. Dog for scale. Corn cribs. You can see here, these are actually some smaller ruts. Got some bigger ruts back there. Looks like some trash too. Great. But got ruts playing around with the razor, tearing up the yard just like you should. We got a path here, path there. You can kind of see a path over here, right there. This path right here. Well, you can't really see it from this side, but it's a, a jump slash rock crawl area. And then I got these big logs over here, which will turn into a rock crawl area. And we got a spot for, for having some fires right there. This little grove is ours too. There's the barn, the shop, the house. Got some more deep ruts right here. I'm playing with the razor, because <laughs> woohoo! Because why not, right? You got the toys, play with them. And then there's that jump. There you go. It's not very big. 
I had something. Here's the fire pit. I'm gonna turn that into a much nicer area than just a patch of scorched earth, but that'll take some time. Here's that grove. We got some really big logs in there. And we got a stump. And we got an awkwardly large stump right there. <laughs> and then, I mean, that's the, that's the front. And then there's the house and the driveway and the barn and the shop. And that's, I mean, that's really it. We started right over there at the house, so there you go. Yep. And so we, we love it here. We love the property. We love the house. We love the area. Uh, we like being closer to the family. So rest assured, in case you were wondering, I guess, uh, we're happy. So that's, that is good. My wife and I, we're happy. Um, being close to family is cool too. I mean, it, that's kind of a no brainer, especially if you like your family. <laughs> Plans for the shop this year. Well, last year it was to paint the walls. We painted the walls. So this year, I'm really hoping right here, there'll be a two post left. Ah, it's kind of a lot of work and kind of a lot of money. So we'll see if we can pull it off this year, but two post lift there, uh, air compressor under the loft and probably some other tools. So then I can actually start doing some serious work. I've got big plans for the Wrangler with the weird headlights. I've got big plans for the Commando. Actually, Commando, I've got medium plans, really. Like, it's on 29s right now. I don't I don't want to go much bigger than 32s on this, like, at all. Kind of want to make it a cruiser. But it's got a front locker. It'll have a rear locker here pretty soon. It's got the V8, and it's just a ton of fun. And that's everything I can think of right now. I'm sure there was more that happened this year. I spent a lot of time on the computer developing parts and editing videos. Spent a lot of time out here just organizing. Um, next year is going to be kind of more of the same. And, and, and more content. I mean, we've got more content. I'm really excited to show you what we're working on here. I'm really excited to show you what is coming, some of the weird ideas I've had that I just haven't put to video yet. And I thank you for sticking around as long as you have because it's been an interesting, wild ride. We've done all kinds of stuff, right? I've taken you to Moab and I've taken you to the Rubicon. You might have to go on Gone Jeepin' for that one. We supercharged a Jeep. I've talked to you about four cylinders and I don't know anything myself, but I've made it up as I went along and I really hope that I've helped at least one of you. So thank you for sticking around from whenever the channel started in like 2018 or something till now, which is probably 2024 now that I'm releasing the video. I'm assuming on New Year's or after New Year's. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for sticking around. I got a lot more for you. Have a great year and I'll see you on the trail.